Hey guys, this is Dustin Maher with Fit Moms for Life, and we got Drew, and I just received an email from uh, one of my boot campers, and I thought it was a great question, and uh, I don't know what Drew's going to say for the answers, which is fine, and we may contradict each other, but uh, we probably will. We probably will, and that's okay. Um, so let me just quick give you, give you the, uh, the rundown. So uh, Marcy, this is Marcy, and she says, over the summer I was working out six days a week, three times with your boot camps, two short runs, and then one longer run. I love that schedule, but then the school year came around. She tried to keep it up, um, the six days a week workout. She shifted from boot camps to Saturday and Sunday, do a tape on Wednesday, and then run the other days. But she wore herself out to the point of getting bad bronchitis, and her son got pneumonia at the same time. So our question is, are there things that she should pay attention to that will indicate um, whether or not she's recovering from the workouts, and should she ease off or not? And then also, how do you know when you should work out uh, when you're sick? That's the yeah. other question. Mm -hmm. And then kind of how do you work your way back in? So I'll, I'll let Drew take over first and then I'll give Perfect. So number one, Marcy was talking about what can she do to prevent illness, you know, getting sick, period. Um, a lot of that comes down to the nutrients that she's taking in on a daily basis. So I would essentially analyze her diet. Uh, maybe get a metabolic type test, see what kind of eater she is, and what type of nutrients her body processes the most effectively. Uh, greens are amazing, you know, foods that are rich, like kale, collard greens, spinach. I would start a, a normal juicing program. Juicing vegetables is ideal for boosting your immune system and keeping you, you know, healthy so that you can push through those workouts no matter what. So first I would attack the nutrients and then secondly, a lot of that comes from the mind. You know, what is your mindset, Marcy? What are you feeding your mind every single day? Are you watching the news? <clears throat> are you doing things that could be impacting you on a subconscious level that you're not even aware of? So I really start affirmations in the morning, getting real grateful for your life. You know, studies have been shown with simple acts of gratitude, it's going to boost your immunity and keep you healthy. You know, many of my clients don't, they've been, you know, they haven't gotten sick in three or four year time spans because they do these different types of things. So setting up a ritual to where you're eating right, you're putting the right things in your mind, I think that's going to keep you healthy long term. You don't have to worry about it. So that's, that's the first question. Yeah, so I think uh, you know a couple of things. Um, Trying to get enough sleep—that's a big yeah. one. If you're under sleeping, and I know that's really hard, especially for brand new moms uh, with their little babies. But trying to get you know seven, eight hours of sleep in a night, and if you're not getting that, if you can carve out like a twenty or thirty minute chunk, it's been shown to be pretty effective. As uh, so, recovery. taking a nap, taking a nap, yeah, throughout the day. Just what about more restful sleep with uh, you know some vitamins like ZMA or melatonin? Liquid melatonin is amazing. Yeah, if you, especially if you're having trouble falling asleep, yeah. that'd be good. Um, That's good. Self-hypnosis is good, too. Okay. Have you tried that? that? Yeah. Um, another thing with it is, is do you, how do you know if you're overtraining? Uh, one thing I would look at is how your performance is going. So if you, if you see your kind of your, either your speed or your strength level starting to decrease or really plateau for a long period of time, you may need to have some recovery periods in there. Yeah. So what was the next question? Remember it? The next question was, how do you know when? I think you're uh, starting to come down with something. Well, like, yeah, do you, do you continue to work out when you start to feel sick? Or when you are it, sick? It depends. You know, a lot of times I do personally, and I push through it mentally. I really proclaim that I am healthy, you know, as the, the perfect child of God or whatever. And I push through that illness, and the very next day I'm completely fine. Sometimes you just have to take the day off. You know, don't beat yourself up over the head if you... Uh, you know, take the day off. Your body needs the rest. It's healing. It's an incredible machine. A lot of people bury it with toxins. They put pharmaceutical drugs in their body. They have no idea what they even do. Uh, when in fact, I mean, if you just give your body the proper sleep, the rest, the water, the nutrients, and everything you're putting right in your mind, you can heal almost anything. Yeah. And I, I think, you know, if you've got a cold or something like that, I generally still work out through that. You know, if you've got the flu, like, you know, like symptoms, if you're achy, yeah. um, that type of thing, if you're really nauseous, that's when I would for sure take the day off. And yeah, sometimes... Any infection of any type, sinus infection, take the day off. Yeah. And if you've gone, you know, two, three months, really hardcore, six, you know, six times per week, I think taking a week off is pretty good. I mean, still stay active and stuff, but really give that body a, a, a break. I, I wouldn't take a week off. A couple days? I think sweat that? every day. Okay. <laughs> there we go. No, that's cool. Say so, that's Sweat every day. <laughs> And uh, so, you know, there's, there's no right or wrong answer with uh -huh. that. You've got to kind of listen to your body and you do. different stuff. Sometimes when I travel for four or five days, so I've gone hardcore, I'll, I'll not work out too much. I'll stay, try to stay a little bit active. But yeah. it, it just kind of depends. 
Um, we'll kind of wrap things up. So easing back into workouts after having illness. Just getting um, a little easier? Or what yeah, just I mean, reduce the time, I think, would be a big thing. Just cut it in half, whatever you normally do. Just cut it in half, maybe walk on the treadmill, yeah. see how you feel the next day. There's no sense in going balls to the wall, pushing it, you know, doing squats and deadlifts, and, you know, really impacting your immune system and tearing down the muscles so that you're still sick two or three days later. Right. Just take the day off and heal. Yeah. And, you know, just drop the intensity a little bit too, just kind of like I talked about uh, with pregnant moms, you know, you can still pretty much do anything that you used to do, so maybe drop it down 10 or 20%. So, hopefully, Marcy, that answered your question. Great answers, Drew. Thank and, you. Thank uh, you too. Yeah, leave your comments below if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys later.